Hey guys, uh, let's do something ridiculous today and install Skype on Kali Linux. Okay, so first thing that we need to do here is actually download um, Skype from uh, the Skype website. So we'll just go over down, down here and we'll say uh, get Skype for Linux RPM. And we'll give this just a second, there it goes, and we'll click uh, save file. So while that's doing its thing, we can come over to the downloads folder here. Well, <laughs> to the home folder and then into the downloads folder. And then we get this uh, Skype for Linux 64 RPM. The problem here is that <clears throat> we can't install an RPM file on Kali. We actually need, need a, a .deb file uh, for this to work. So a uh, couple of things we've got to do first. Um, we're actually going to use uh, a, a program or an application called Alien, and basically, let's come down here, there we go, uh, basically Alien will convert an RPM to a DEB file uh, pretty quickly here. So uh, the first thing we need to do, um, actually, you know what, let's come over to here, let's go to our downloads folder, let's right click, we'll open a terminal right there in downloads, no point in trying to change directories and all that nonsense, we'll just do it from here. Um, so we're just going to copy uh, this line right here. I will have a link to this in um, in the description down below. But we're just going to go ahead and paste that. Now I've already installed Alien here, um, so it's not going to do anything really. It's just going to say, yeah, you've already got it. Um, but if this is your first time installing Alien, um, just go ahead and go through the install process. It may ask if you want to um, uh, allow it to take up, you know, however many megabytes or, or whatever. Just say yes and uh, go ahead and let that install and you'll be good to go. So once you've got Alien installed and it really is just as easy as, as using this one line of code right there. Um, oops. The next thing we're gonna do, uh, because we're already in the downloads folder, and we've already got this RPM file here. Uh, what we can do is we can say sudo alien space and we can actually just hit the tab button and it will automatically fill in that RPM file for us. Now, if there were other RPM files in there, it may try to uh, fill in one of those first. Um, but because I've only got this one, just hitting tab will do that. Um, you may have also noticed it added a space. I like to clear that space and just hit enter. So um, it's doing all kinds of weird warning things and doing whatever it's doing in the background. Um, and you can see that it's created the Skype for Linux dash 81104. Um, this may vary depending on when you're watching this uh, and which version you downloaded, things like that. But we're gonna go ahead and let this just sit for a minute. Um, it will take it a, a minute or two to um, actually uh, decompile and then recompile it into that .deb file. In fact, we're almost done here. Um, once it's done, uh, the this uh, terminal screen will update and let us know that it's been completed. So we'll give that just another second here. And of course, the, um, the amount of time this takes will also depend on your system. You know, how many processing cores you gave it, how much RAM you gave it, things like that. All of that will play into this. Um, so hopefully you've got um, at least a, a, a decent little system set up with at least a couple of processing cores and a few gigs of RAM. Okay, and that's it. So just that quickly, we have converted this .rpm file um, into a .deb file. So to install... Uh, this .deb file, all we've got to do is we can just do a sudo um, dpackage minus i and and then again, um, because there's just that one uh, .deb file, I'm hitting tab after that space, automatically filled it in for us. Very, very handy to have that in there. And then of course it added that extra space at the end. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear it and press enter. Now it's gonna go through this install process and uh, here in just a second, once it's done, actually just that quickly. So now what we can do is come down here to the bottom left where we've got show applications and we can just type in Skype. And there is our Skype install that we just installed. There we go, oops. I'm impatient there for a second. Let's see here, where did it go? There it is. All right, so if you've got an account, you can click sign in. If you don't have an account, you can click create an account. Go through that whole process um, just to show you that it is working. Um, 
Uh, let's see. Yep, I'm going to type in that. And I'm going to put in my password. And if all goes well, uh, we're going to go with the dark theme. I like the dark theme better. And I'm going to click next. Um, I'm not going to worry about adding a photo right now. Um, this is all fine. Next, no camera found. I, I can actually fix that here in just a second. Um, actually, no, I can't because I'm recording with it. So um, basically, if if I wasn't recording this, I could come down to the bottom, uh, down here at the very, very bottom of the screen, um, right click and add uh, this uh, C930E because I'm using it to record what you're seeing right now. Um, I can't have it active in two places at once. So, um, but yeah, so that's it. Here we've got Skype working. Um, you know, we can go through the t tutorial if we want to um, and look at all of the neat little features here, that sort of thing. But just that quickly and easily, I mean, it, of course, it was more complicated than, say, you know, installing on Windows, but that's the downside to doing stuff on Linux, right? So that pretty much sums it up. There's just a quick, quick video on how to install Skype on Kali Linux. Um, I know it seems a bit contradictory to use a Microsoft product that's very, very likely to leak information on something like Kali Linux that is all about security and, and that sort of thing. But I thought it would just be a fun little thing to do this morning. So um, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me and my somewhat sentient channel out quite a bit. Um, so if you could do that, it would be amazing and we would both appreciate it. Um, also, I've got lots of new video ideas coming up uh, with, with stuff like this, not just Skype, but all kinds of different like messaging apps and, and, and different things that we can do um, on Kali Linux and Fedora and all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, hit the subscribe button down below. Um, and, and, and if you really wanted to be extra special, you can hit the notification button uh, right next to that so you can be notified when all my new stuff comes out. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, if you want to support the channel uh, monetarily, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. One, um, you can just go be a patron over on Patreon. I'll have a link down there for that as well. Or if you don't want to do that, um, I will have a link to my Amazon affiliate thing down below as well. So uh, you can just click that. I become your affiliate. Doesn't cost you anything. Doesn't change anything you're doing. I just get credit for purchases you make. And no, for the record, I can't see what you've purchased. So a um, couple of different ways you can support the channel there as well. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Thanks so much for your time. I really do appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next one.